Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Age of Wonders Planetfall. So, when we last left off, we had the choice. Either kick the shit out of this guy, or get an alliance with him. We might be able to get an alliance. In fact, we can probably already get a non-aggression pact. Let's take a look. We should be able to offer non-aggression pact. Yeah, he accepted. Okay, so then we need a defensive pact. And then finally an alliance. And I think we have to wait a few turns before we propose a defensive pact. Yes, we have to wait three turns. Alright then. So, other than that, we still have quite a few objectives here. So, for example, yeah, the one about exploration. And also to find the ship. Where is that exactly? Because the camera moves a little bit too quickly there. Southwest, I think. Is that it? I wonder if we could go around him, but probably not. And we also need food exploitation. We'll work on that. And we can also explore to the north. See what's going on over there. Sounds good to me. Alright, let's go then. And I would like to replace some of the low tier units. We are about to finish a pug. So I can replace one of the troopers with a pug. Works for me, that is going to be quite a bit better. And oh yeah, we are under attack again. That shouldn't really be a problem. Let's do it manually, why the heck not. So, yeah, this should be fairly easy. Hey, we can test the pug in action. I only really had a chance to fight against it so far. It has a pretty good gun. 16 damage. It also has Blur Cloud, which makes a friendly target 40% harder to hit, and it has a healing charge, which can only be used once per battle, but it can heal for 25. And he can use cover. Alright, so let's just move forward, Overwatch, and wait for them. The pug does not have Overwatch, but that's fine. He can't have everything, I guess. Here, Overwatch. And that will do. Bring it on. Yeah, they only have some troopers and who's this guy? Operations Enforcer. Available. He has some kind of shield. Alright, that's not going to help him too much. Right, so blast laser is a single action. It's not repeating. Which means it doesn't really matter how much we move. As long as we keep at least one action point. I can take a shot, but not too happy about the angle. Might be best to just wait one more turn on Overwatch. And then maybe we can throw a grenade. I'm a little bit too far away for that right now. 20%, yeah, 20% is a bit low. I could destroy some of the recover, but let's go for the Overwatch approach. It's not like we are in a huge rush. They are the ones attacking us. A little bit closer. What's our chance to hit? Yeah, a little bit too low. There. That will do. Now, I can still use some operations, but we just really don't need those. Not in this fight, anyway. What's this? Spaceport. Supply drop. Every two turns, the defenders resupply from the spaceport. Gaining stacking one armor, healing them for 10, and resetting their ability cooldowns. That is actually really nice. So that's us. We are the defenders, obviously. Yeah, these guys don't stand a chance. I could have easily auto-resolved that. Yep, there it is. So everyone healed, and we reset our cooldowns. That is really nice. So 90%. Nice one. And they are staggered. So let's finish them off. Let's see, we need that to be green, so like this. That's 95%. And how about a grenade, maybe? Yeah, let's throw a grenade, why not? And then we can use the pug. Here, he can finish the job. Yes, indeed. There, one down. We still got that guy in the back. 
not too worried about him. He can do some decent damage, actually. Damn it! Okay, one militia actually got killed. But that's fine. Let's maybe finish off that guy first. He seems to be fairly dangerous. Chance to hit will not be amazing. But we just need one more hit. There, 95. He's dead. Killed. Alright then. So that's pretty much it. We got this. Done. Enemy destroyed. They've never stood a chance. All right then. Yeah, that was just called a militia, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Oh, and I'm the research is done. Now we unlocked the gunship, which is a tier two unit, and we also unlocked the actual gunship vehicle. It's a little bit confusing at first, but one of them is an actual unit, and the other is hero equipment. And what can we research next? <laughs> well, hey, in theory, we could research the tanks, but that would take 28 turns. Maybe a little bit too much. Let's get some of the cheaper techs. What about this one? Shredder Bomb. Drops a Shredder Bomb onto the battlefield, dealing 12 damage in a 1 hex radius area of effect with 12 strength chance to apply bleeding. Okay, that's not too bad and ammunition and that leads to electromagnetic utilization what about phase manipulation right that's a defensive module echo walker program oh yeah that unlocks an actual unit and void blades yeah that's a primary weapon for a hero okay let's get phase manipulation and then echo walker program probably Sounds good to me. Alright, so let's keep moving. We can explore a little bit. There's still a lot to explore. And we can also kill the Marauders. I'm going to auto-resolve this one because that's an easy fight right there. Done. Alright. Oh, and we can upgrade the hero. Let's take a look. Hold on, before we do anything... I could buy nanite injectors for her, which is not a terrible idea. It's not that expensive. Okay, yeah, let's grab one. Done. And then we got five skill points. What do we have here? Field medicine. Expert field medicine heals all friendly units in the army for six each turn out of combat. Only functions when the hero is the army's commander. Okay, so that doesn't do anything in combat. We could pick up one of the commander traits. That's a possibility. I already got infantry commander on my other guy. Don't really want that twice. What about void bullets? The hero's ranged attacks ignore 50% of the penalties from cover and units in the way. I'm actually going to pick this up because there's usually a lot of cover and you can't always flank the enemy. So this is not too bad. And steady aim isn't too bad either. Attacks with ranged weapons are 15% more accurate when fired from cover. We also got Rallying Cry. That requires a full action, but all friendly units ignore morale penalties for two turns, okay? We also got Ranged Specialist. And dig in. We can also save the points, we don't have to spend all of them. Let's save them for now then. Alright. As for our other guy, let's swap out some of the units, shall we? So, like this. What about this soldier? It's only tier 1 unit, but is it any good? It's not really significantly different from our own soldiers, but I definitely want that pug. So there it is, and you guys can stay on the defense, at least for now. And we need to set production. We could grab another colonizer, that's definitely a possibility. We could also upgrade the sectors. Let's do that, that's only one turn. And we'll need energy. Energy is basically money. 
message from the Paragon faction. Okay, you need slain. We can probably do that. Yeah, we can do that. They are literally right next to us. Let's see. Not on this turn, but on the next one. These guys look fairly nasty. Tier 3 Elite, okay. Yeah, this guy looks nasty. Wild Bash. Okay, and Sling Magma. Throw a chunk of magma, damaging units in a 1 hex radius, and creating a thermal hazard on the ground. Well, this should be fun. And we got another hero offering to join. Let's see. Examine the hero. He has an Assault Bike, which is a tier 2 vehicle. Arc Weakness. Arc Attacks deal more damage and are more likely to trigger status effects. He has Stagger Resistance. Sonic Resistance. Heavy Unit. Let's still wait for another one. I'm not only in a huge rush to get a third hero. We can request another one. Alright, so that's basically all our moves. Our morale is not looking too good, or rather happiness. But I already built the dome. What can we get? Yeah, this is how happiness affects our productivity. We are basically losing like two dudes assigned to production. What does this mean? Event in five? Let's see, happiness, discontent amongst the populace. Five turns until the next unrest event. I don't like the sound of that too much. Okay, I mean, I don't think there's a whole lot I can do about that right now. Not really. Well, anyway, let's build something. Improve the military infrastructure. Military skirmisher barracks. Yeah, let's actually get skirmisher barracks. We need that for the gunship. Wait, zero turns, really? Okay. So now we can get the gunship. And I would like a gunship for the hero. Let's see. I think I have to, like, buy one. Yes, yeah, 75 energy. So I could buy one, but I don't have to. His weapon isn't that bad, but the gunship has a buster missile, 14 damage, also plus 2 armor, which isn't too bad. It's probably worth it. All our actual weapons are tier 1. So what the heck, let's get the gunship. There it is, now we are in a gunship. Unfortunately that means the jetpack will be useless, but it's not like I was really using it to begin with, so whatever. Confirm, this is fine. Now we are in gunship. So, more production. Yeah, a dome, although happiness seems to be mostly fine in here. Okay. I can't get units, apparently. Why not? Insufficient resources. Right, that makes sense. I just spent quite a bit on that gunship. Let's grab the dome, because we'll need it eventually anyway. Now, this fight. Paragon faction demand, really? They're demanding things. Minus 14. Okay, fine. But I'm not too happy about that. Let's do this. We can test our gunship in action. This should be a fun fight. Here we are. So that big guy needs to go down. He's definitely the most dangerous unit in there. This might be a good moment to use some operations, although I might not be able to afford them. Yeah, right now they are not ready yet, can't use them on first turn. But there is something that allows you to use them on first turn. Let's move our units closer together, shall we? I don't really want to be spread out too much. Yep. And we might as well use Overwatch, with anyone who can use that. What does the Engineer have again? Oh yeah, we can place a gun to it. Maybe not right here. Although, I don't know what the range is. Yeah, what's the range on the actual gun to it? It doesn't really say. 
and it can only be placed once per battle. Right. Well, what the heck, let's place it. There it is. So, there's the gun turret. Let's take a look. Twin guns. Seven tile range. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we can use Overwatch. Repeating fire. That is not too bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let's keep moving. Like so. Stay in cover. And stay away from them with our hero. What does he have again? Aircraft gun. With a repeating fire. And a buster missile. 16 damage. Single action. I like that. We'll use it for sure. So, anyone else? Yeah, the whole other group, basically. Let's move into some cover. Something like this. That will do. Yep. Not quite enough cover on this side. It will have to do. Oh, and the Paragon Guard is a melee unit, apparently. Alright, that's fine. That's the Owl. This is quite a valuable unit, actually, because he has targeting field. That's like plus 30% chance to hit one target. We'll use it on the big guy. Definitely. So, I guess that's it. That's pretty much it. Let me end my turn. I think I have to like acknowledge every single unit. Alright. Bring it on. They might manage to kill something. Because they do have quite a lot of damage. Probably like the soldier that we got for free. But we'll see. I can heal him. However, the pug is a little bit too far away right now. He's the one with the healing. Operations ready. We can use operations, however. Yeah, nanite support station is not too bad, but it's not worth 30 energy right now. It just isn't. How about that heal? It only requires single action. I could actually heal right away. Although, he might just die immediately after. Let's back up. Here, he is still burning. He has two health right now. And he's burning. He is going to die, but I got this guy for free, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Now, the others. Let's test our missile, shall we? Preferably on that big dude. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, it is an AoE. Might be better to fire it like this. Let's not fire it at all just yet. We could move out with our other guard and then use the missile. Okay, let's do that then. Change of plans. This is by far the best use for it. It's only 70% chance to hit, but we are hitting up to three targets. Okay, could have been better. But I'll take it. Back up slightly. Although, if I move, my chance to hit will be lower. What's our chance to hit from here? 60%. Kind of low. Yep. Wasn't quite good enough. And what about the hero? She does not have repeating fire. She does, however, have a grenade. What's the range on the grenade again? How many tiles is this? One, two, three tiles? Yeah, literally three tiles. Not a lot. So she has to be here. Fine. There. Enemy yeah, that's not a lot of damage, but we killed one enemy. Good enough for me. We should be able to kill at least two more of them. I still got a lot of damage. Okay, not too bad. What about that engineer all the way in the back? Yeah, that guy won't be super useful right now. Assist the targeting computers of a friendly mechanical unit, increasing their accuracy by 30% for two turns. Now that's nice. 
I wonder if that would work on the gun turret. I don't see why not. It is a friendly mechanical unit. Oh, out of range. What's the range on this? Only free tile range. I can still use it though. It's a single action. Let's test it. Why not? Yeah, and I can also use it on the bike or whatever. Let's use it on the gun turret because it will fire three times. Now it's calibrated. And now we got 95%. 95% seems to be the cap. It can't go any higher than that. I could also shoot the other guy. He has more health. Can anyone else finish off this fella? Enemy yes. Down. Nice enemy one. Down. We got one more enemy and then the big dude. So two more enemies. And I can still use targeting field. How many more units can still fire? Not that many, I'm afraid. Yeah, not too many. The assault bike, definitely. And that will be decent damage. 90% too. Okay, let's start doing damage to that big guy at least. And move out of range with the Paragon. And then we still got the Owl. Not much point using it right now. Okay, move into cover. Created by ourselves. And that's basically it. Not much point using targeting field right now, because it will serve absolutely no purpose whatsoever. Unit Let's see fallen. what they are going to do. Yeah, one Paragon died from the burning damage, but that's Unit okay. And fallen. the other one too. These units are really weak, and we got them for free. Now. The Basher. No line of sight, really? Okay. Here, the gun, because it can't move anyway. We pretty much got this. Yep. It doesn't even matter who's going to fire and in what order. They are all going down. Yep. Enemy annihilated. We are done here. Come on, let's finish this. I want to select the hero. Why can I not fire with that? There we go. Done. Enemy eliminated. They never stood a chance. No, but they did not. There it is. Objective completed. And we got the rewards. 43 production, 16 energy, 10 influence, and 10 relations bonus. With the paragons. Alright. So we can probably improve our status with them, can we? What can we actually do? Uh, nothing from this screen. Oh, hold on. Trade. We can actually buy units from them. Interesting. And we can buy a unit mod. Soldier Guard. Yeah, the Guard is a tier 2 unit. So I can spend 36 influence. Is that what it is? And we reached maximum influence. I guess we should spend it then. Sure. Well, there it is. I spent it. So that's one benefit of the minor factions. Okay, sure. Let's keep moving. Now we can explore a little bit. And probably replace the two units that died with something slightly stronger. Like the gunship that we are about to finish. And let's check if we can get a defensive pact with that Jiang guy. Might not be able to just yet, but maybe? Yeah, looks like we might be able to. Here, it worked. So now we need Alliance, that's the next step. If he accepts the Alliance, then we'll finish one of the objectives, this one. If he doesn't, I'll have to do something to make him happier, I guess. Happiness event in Happiness colony. event. Well, that's good. The colonist knowledge income is increased by 100% this turn. Okay, thanks. There is no and we finished our research. So that gives us the defense mode. Matter doesn't matter. The unit is so able to walk through obstacles and is 20% harder to hit in combat. Tech that is Oy actually tech really nice. 
and it gains one shielding. This mod can only be applied to infantry and mounted units. But that is a nice mod for a tier 1. And the next up we can do Echo Walker program. That will unlock the Echo Walker. And the Void Blades. Alright. Oh yeah, and we finished food, food the development. Tool. Research. Next up. What about area surveillance? Strategic operation. Player operation. Empire upgrade. Okay. Unlocks capability rankings shown in the Empire tasks interface. Capability is visible for your Empire and its allies. Alright. What about research development? Perhaps. Quantum gain. What's that? Doctrine operation. Doctrine operation. Aquatic development. That's not super useful. Production development. Let's get area surveillance. Why not? And we got another hero. Let's take a look. What do you have? Void blades and phase walk modulator. So the exact two things we just unlocked. Phase shift. Hero teleports to target hex. Interesting. Requires a full action, however. 12 damage melee weapon with a repeating attack. Dimensional instability. Fort strength chance to cause dimensional instability until the end of combat. But what exactly does that mean? It bypasses all shielding. Okay. I think I'm going to accept this one. We'll be left with one energy, but that's fine. Okay, sure, let's accept this one. And I already got quite a few units. These are not super strong units, but they are fine. So, there's the gunship. He can join one of the other armies. Do we have any production queued up? Not right now. Improved military infrastructure. What else do we have here? Yeah, level 2. Minus 15% energy cost for instantly completing production, okay. Minus 15% energy cost for units, including mods, okay. And what's this? Mechanical units produced in this colony have plus 2 resistance to all damage. I guess that's nice. Sure. Alright, let's go explore. Should probably replace that one trooper. That's a pretty weak unit at this point. And a more production. Well... We could raise the colony. Yeah, why would we want that? We could, however, transfer HQ. There's just no real reason to do that right now. Let's get specialist training center. And we should probably grab a new colonizer sometime soon. Start a new colony. I think we can actually annex another sector. Yes, we can. So let's do that. For this one. That will be done on the next turn. And then we can expand in this general direction. To the northwest, basically. That's the plan. Right, there's the hero. I'm going to keep that hero in the city for now. Until I have a reasonable third army. There's era surveillance. You improve your capabilities, you don't just... What are the follow-ups? Operation effectiveness. Okay. Oh, more strategic points. That's useful. Yeah, let's get this. Plus one doctrine slot. That's definitely useful. Here, that's only three turns as well. We got a new sector. Alright, so there it is. We can upgrade it right away. Right here. Right, we still need food exploitation. Let's work on that then. That's literally one of the objectives. We are currently at 0 out of 3 food exploitation sectors owned. So yeah. Operations available for priming. Oh yeah, operations. Reveals the location of the nearest unexplored hostile spawner to the target colony. And a monitoring station appears on the targeted hex. The station provides 
the deploying player with a vision of 6 hexes and sensor coverage for 12 hexes. The station is concealed and can only be detected by other players with detection, or if they move adjacent to it. Monitoring stations are not marked as belonging to any particular player and can be destroyed by other players without triggering war. Okay. I mean, I don't think we really need that right now. Let's not do that just yet. So what's going on here? Paragon faction. Some marauders. I guess we can kill those. Yeah, that's an easy group. We can do auto. There it is. And we got Inferno Handgun. That's a tier 2. That's not that bad, actually. I'll take it. Yeah, this map is pretty small. This is basically already the edge of the map. Let's kill this. Yeah, okay. Maybe auto was not such a good idea in that case. I noticed that the auto resolve in this game is actually kind of bad. So I won't be using it too much. Only in fights that seem really, really obvious. Now we should probably go back. I mean, I'm basically at the edge of the map. I can't go any further north. Oh, and can we offer alliance yet, or do we have to wait? Yes. Can we do it? Will he accept? Yes, he will accept. Nice. So that will finish one of the objectives. Let's see what we can do now. Lieutenant, you look unsettled. Is there something bothering you? Thank you, Commander, but it's nothing, really. No reason to be concerned. What is it? Just spit it out. Alright, but you must promise to keep this between us. Ever since we landed, I have had this eerie feeling that I am being watched. I can sense that something is off. But no matter how hard I pay attention, I can't find any concrete evidence to support my paranoia. Some paranoia may be healthy when you're stuck between the battle lines of rogue vanguard squads and an opportunistic syndicate house. The last few weeks have been rough for everyone. Okay, well... It was probably nothing. Well, now that she mentioned it, it was probably something. And we were too slow with the food Objective sectors. Complete. Yeah, whatever. Hey, we will get a laser tank out of this. And that's a tier 3 unit. That is a really nice unit. Yeah, I'm going to merge him with my main hero's army. To replace one of the units that just got killed. Yep. And then we should probably make one more. What do we have in that army right now? We have an engineer, we have an assault bike, and we have a pug. Well, let's maybe get a gunship. That works. I mean, the hero is using a gunship, but another one wouldn't hurt. Sure, fine. And what do we do now? Now we need to find the ship. Wait, what? What the heck? She's dead? Dayu Jung is dead. They found her night camp hurried and with her shard remains still smoldering within the embers of Per X fire. Damn it. She even told me herself she felt being watched. I cannot believe that this could happen under my command. But I swear I'm gonna find whoever did this and make them pay for their crime. Well, that was quick. In the meantime, I have the sad duty to mourn for a lost officer and a friend. So what do we do now? Well, nothing. The other objectives, basically. However, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And click the bell if you want to receive notifications. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.